Well, what's going on with Angry Samoans, man? We haven't heard from you in a while, man. No, we, we play 30, 40 gigs every year since 1996. 18 years straight. Went to Europe four times, whatever. Well, it, every fucking gig's on Facebook. I mean, come on, don't, don't, don't goof on me. Yeah, well, I, 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 I gotta go like you guys on fa Facebook, then. I didn't know you had a Facebook profile, but I should have MySpace up the first month, like the LA punk rock bands jumped on that for all the high schoolers, you know, the you know, California punk rock audience. Our band was on MySpace in October 2003 talking about fucking Yuri Duff's road band. Fact. We have two great guitar players, QB1, QB2. We can't afford to pay them both 100 bucks a gig. So QB1 has seniority just barely, but QB2 is a motherfucker. Meaning we have the two best guitar players. Any gig, one guy or the other, is the best guitar player we ever had. You combine their ages together, add them A plus B, add two more years, you get me. Not on guitar. So I am still technically older than both of them put together, because each year they gain two years, I'm still getting one. So I'm still hanging in there, being twice the age of our, you know, QB1, QB2. But it's, inter it's really two, we have two QB1s on kicker, killer guitar. The guy you see tonight is the left-handed guitar player, like the workers, Colin, who has the slight seniority by about two years. QB2 covers on bass when we go out of state, because these claim seniority on bass. We got like Rick Dasher from the Dickies on bass for like 11 fucking years, and he is the best fucking punk rock bass player you're ever gonna hear out of California. I mean, as good as anyone. He is like, he's like a kick drum. He's like the human kick drum on bass guitar. I don't care what they say. What gig, gigs back to back, did you guys set your all time record and sell through 200 fucking t shirts to 600 people one night and 1,100 people next night? Denver with the queers. We were there early, did this to the max, literally <laughs> double this, you know, in volume. Same price, $5. Yeah. And the next night, Santa Ana Galaxy of Territory, the Dickies, the Queers, the Simones, and we're there creating an L shape. That's the galaxy. <laughs> you, know, you know, one huge table, two medium sizes to create a horseshoe. Oh, nice. And we sold fucking 200 shirts to 1,100 people. That's our all time record, but they're five fucking dollars. Right. It's like, yeah, but we sold $110 shirts. Yeah, but the markup's the same. <laughs> New music from Angry Samoans. There, there's tons and tons of songs for many various reasons. So my wife and I were They're never going to record it, didn't get recorded. We have enough shit on record, like why, why, it's not my fucking job. Yo, know, it's not my fucking job to herd field mice and make them learn a song and go record it. Like, yo, know, it gets really fucking tired. Here's our stage intro, officially typed. Opening band, stage intro, write some mama, no screwing around, guitar. Hit an open A string, lighter hard. Me in the middle goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Please welcome the Angry Samoans. He chokes a note, right side of my mind. Right side of my fucking mind. First song ever learned in practice, first song ever played on stage. You get really lucky when you get a set opener. It, but the song had been written a year and a half before the band. It was like sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. And it was one of the first ones that came to mind like, these guys can do this. So, what songs out of literally 400 songs, all on tape, do I have that matches their? Yeah, you know, their, their whole tribunal, like, we don't want to do that, we don't want to do that. I like, guess what they might like. Stuck in Missouri and took my truck. Bye.